Nathan Prescott, please come to the front office. Thank you. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Posters over posters? Somebody really wants to find Rachel Amber. I would so be there if a Sasquatch actually did battle a Razorback. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? Is that really yours? Is that even legal? Of course. Nobody knows about it yet. Isn't it considered a weapon of war? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Sorry, Max. I have to focus on making sure this drone doesn't crash. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. So bizarre to be back here after five years. I thought I could just fit right back in at school. But with all this shit going on, I'm even more an outsider. And who can I confide in besides my journal and my camera? Man, these are supposed to be the best years of my life. This is what it's like to be alone and feel lonely at once.
I could go for a burger now. I've never seen so many missing persons posters for the same person. There's Justin and his skater posse. They're so cute doing their tricks. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to thrash? Oh yeah? Bring it. What's your first move gonna be? Uh... Jump? You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple nose slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. Yo, Justin. Check out the mat. I came to nose slide. But I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Nah. I just can't skate worth shit. Aw, oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? Go for a tree flip. Let's get Trevor all over that action. Oh, ow. Oh. Ooh. Yo, Justin. Check out the map. I... Oh, sick. Nah. Ha. Oh. I'd love to see a nose slide. Let's get Trevor all over that action. <laughs> you. Hey. You never really escape, Betty. I used to be, but I'm into my camera now. I can tell. We need more girls out here. Rachel Amber and her punk friend used to skate with us. You knew Rachel? She used to chill with us sometimes. But one day, she just vanished. I hope she's living the dream somewhere. And if anybody hurt her, we'll get a skate posse and take them out with our boards. Who was Rachel's punk friend? I can't remember her name. She was hot. Tats, blue hair, hardcore. She stopped hanging out with us after Rachel disappeared. <laughs> Ran away. You ever hang out with Victoria? Fuck that. I'd rather rollerblade than hang out with snobs like her. Let's chill later, Justin. Anytime you want to take some action shots, we're here for you, Max. What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I, um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. I'd be honored, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse. Rachel Amber. You knew her? No, but once she asked me to draw her portrait, oh, she was a natural. So what happened to her? There's got to be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Some people said she ran away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. I just hope she's okay. Hard to avoid her posters all over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face used as a crime photo. Ah, she had a good heart. Okay, why don't you start drawing me, even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way, you're a good substitute muse. Oh, that's a good posture. Good, good. Best portrait ever. Clever. Uh, hello? 
Max, I don't feel like talking. What's wrong? Nathan Prescott, little rich bitch kid. He thinks he can own people like his parents own Blackwell. Like he owns the Vortex Club. Yes, he's a nasty piece of work. You, you know him? Not really. I've seen him around. Sounds like you know way more than that. Max, tell me. Nope, he's just an entitled dick with a lot of money. Not my type. Somebody needs to take that prick down. It'll happen. Karma doesn't play favorites. Yeah, history always proves that, right? Just wait for justice, you sheeple. Let's talk later, okay, Max? Uh, hello? Max, I don't... What? Nathan Press... Yes, he... You... you know... I busted him today with a gun. What? Seriously? I saw him wave a gun around today and I went to the principal. We'll see what happens next. You are my new hero. Finally, karma comes to Blackwell. Evan's portfolio always looks so uber pro. I'd love to see hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous fallen soldier? Gotta be Eugene Smith. Well, they both were famous war photographer images. But you should know the difference. Good try. Wrong answer. Hey, Ev. Let's see if you're... Uh, Steve McCurry? Unless he could travel back in time. McCurry was born five years after the falling soldier picture. McCurry also shoots in color. In other words, no portfolio. Hey, Evan. Let's see if you're... Isn't it Robert Dornum? Oh my, you can't even tell the difference between street photography and photojournalism. No portfolio peak for you. Hey, Evan. Let's see if you're... Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. That's why I'm here. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? It's not a privilege I grant to many. I'd be honored, sir. These photos are great. And Rachel Amber's face is mesmerizing. Hi, Evan. As you can see, Rachel Amber was my favorite model here. She knew exactly what angles worked best with my eye. You were close. Like brother and sister in arms. She understood me, never judged me. I hated her Vortex club click, but she never acted like she cared. Her friends were her friends. What do you think happened to her? Nothing good, Max. Nothing good. Sorry. I have to get back to my portfolio. I need to go there and grab Warren's flash drive. Come on, Logan, bring it, bro. Yeah! I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. The Prescott dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? No, bro. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. Football, Max. 
big football. Step away. Awesome! Warren told me that totem is named Tobanga for a reason nobody knows. Glad to see our campus is eco-friendly. Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. You look down. You okay? Sweet. I'm kind of over humanity today. Sorry to be a drama queen. Is there anything... Max, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. Howdy, Samuel. Well, hello there. Nice, bro. What's up with these Rachel Amber posters? Well, only she would know that, right? Ah, uh, I guess. It just makes the campus look sad. You can't color over that sunlight. Sweet. You knew Rachel? How can you know a prison? You just stare in awe. Now I have to go paint windows. What was she like? She must have been popular. Even sunlight can cast shadows. Rachel did both at once, you know. She was like a battery. Positive and negative. What do you think happened to her? Best not to dwell on the past. Samuel looks forward. Like a clock. See you later, Samuel. And watch your step around here, Max. After I sweep, I paint. Awesome. Oh, dude. oh, hi, Max. How are you doing? Fantastic. I'm by myself for eating chiclet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria at the Vortex Club. I think you're better off reading chiclet. Good point. Now, if you'll excuse me. Glad to see our campus is eco-friendly. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. No. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh wait, hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. Okay, now where exactly is the sprinkler valve? Kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. None shall pass. She looks like a pissed off wet cat, and she's still stylish. Sweet. Sorry, no paparazzi allowed.
Crossroads. Okay, let's see if this works. Sweet. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Jill, Victoria, it's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Oh, Sammy, I'm oh, sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Nice, bro. Oh, dude. Uh... Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. Just... And no filter needed before I post this. Now please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Now I have to get to my room. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. I'd love to make a photo collage of every person who've posted these. Thane is still a cheerleader at heart. Could be fun. Glad I'm not the only lonely nerd around here. Juliet, extreme reporter. As if. Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Truly pathetic. We get it, she's missing. Somebody has gone crazy with these posters. They live. Okay, this is just mean and stupid. This is like the public DNA of our dorm. Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. But what's this poster really trying to tell me? Warren should be all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Obvious, but true. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall.
Hard to believe I'm 18. Do I look any older? Just more stressed. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday. And slipped in a $200 gift certificate. She sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy. It's hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. I like my wardrobe. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. I haven't forgotten you, little Lisa. Yet. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HDTV. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. I look so pathetic. Daniel has so much talent. I hope nobody hates on it just because it's me. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. Cartier-Bresson, Doineau, Hamilton, the greatest. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. So cheesy, but it makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I sewed that together. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. Hmm. <sighs> we 
feels so nice to just relax. This day has been so damn bizarre and it feels like it has gone on forever. Maybe I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this. Or like Poe said, a dream within a dream. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. This is so stupid. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. What did she do? You are what ridiculous. didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Uh, Juliet Mason. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Hey, Juliet. Oh, yes, Max. Let me out, Juliet. This is so What did she do? Stupid. What didn't she... Ouch. Uh... That's why I'm... What's my... You are ridiculous. Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. You don't let me out. I will So, scream. how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max! Hey, Juliet. Oh. Let me out, Juliet. This is so Juliet stupid. Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked you Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. How do you know? Victoria Chase. You know her. You could say you that. But scream. why would Dana go after your boyfriend? According to Victoria... According to... She saw the sack. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the Chase space. Color me impressed. She's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. They should call this series aloof. Cold and soulless. Okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, Yes, I get it. Enter the vortex. That's real nice, Victoria. And who the hell thinks I'm a hipster? Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article.
This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. That is a tasty plasma. Maybe I could sneak in and watch Final Fantasy Spirits Within. I don't... Dior? Givenchy? You could pay for my... Those boots are made for walking runway. That is a tasty plasma. Maybe I could sneak in and watch Final Fantasy Spirits Within. I don't care what anybody says, that's one of the best sci-fi films ever made. Speaking of selfies, let's play a little photo Tetris and leave Victoria a message. Let's move this here, and this one there. Hmm, a pattern is emerging. Juliet, read this. Of course! I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No. But I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zack has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. That looks like a home pregnancy test. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it. She has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it, and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. What do you mean? Oh. Nothing. When you opened the flash drive, didn't you see the special folder called Max? Yeah, okay. I gotcha. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have myself. This is both sad and pathetic.